I don't understand why she blocked me. Hi guys, my name is Christine Loveridge and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about, I don't understand why she blocked me. So today I have a, a question from a viewer and basically they want to know why this girl has blocked them. Um, so I'm going to read out what they said and let's see if we can help this person. Okay, so they say, all right, she said she wasn't going to block me. Then I said, I still see a future with her, but for now I'm going to do my thing and she does hers and I wished her the best. Then she blocked me. I really don't understand why she blocked me after I said I still saw a future with her and I respected her choice. Then she went to say she wanted nothing to do with me. So let's get into the first part of this comment, which is, um, all right, she said she wasn't going to block me. So if she said she wasn't going to block you, then obviously you must have had a conversation about her blocking you. So I can, I'm assuming, I may be wrong, that maybe you asked her not to block you. Um, because it seems really random that she would say, oh, I'm not going to, don't worry, I'm not going to block you. So that implies to me that you said to her something about you, her blocking you in some way, or that was going to happen. Or you, you made that a possibility by just bringing it up, you know, so you shouldn't really say something like that, like, oh, please don't block me. Um, I'm not sure if that is what you said, but that's what it looks like you may have said for her to say that. And then I said, I will see a future. I still see a future with her. Now, I'm going to tell you a bit of a personal story here. So I had a crush on a girl, uh, maybe about, I think it was about 10 years ago. And I said to her something so stupid and so cheesy that it makes me cringe whenever I think about it. I said something like, um, and this was after she got into a relationship. I said something like, um, I will be your, your last uh, person you're going to be with or something. I will be your last. So it doesn't matter who you're with now or something. So basically that insinuated that we had a future together. And basically if you start talking about your future with a girl um, and that you, you know, you know you're going to be with her in the future, um, that puts them right off, especially if they already don't have that much of an attraction for you. So obviously this girl doesn't have much interest in you. Otherwise you would be dating each other, hooking up, you know, and getting together, uh, you'd be in a relationship if she liked you, basically. Um, so if she doesn't, so obviously this girl doesn't really like you that much. And when you say to a girl that you see a future with her, that's going to put her right off you. And the reason why this is, is because think about it, if it was someone who said to you that they saw a future with you, and the person that said that wasn't someone that you liked that much. So I'm a, I'm gay, I'm a, I'm a lesbian. Um, if a man come up to me and said, oh, I, I see a future with you, we're gonna be together one day, that would creep me out. That would, because it's someone I'm not interested in. Or it may even be a girl that says this to me, but it's a girl that I'm not attracted to or I'm not interested in. And she says to me, I see a future with you. I will be together again one day. That would creep me out. That's why she blocked you. It probably freaked her out like, oh my God, you're never gonna stop pursuing me, are you? You're always gonna be there in the background waiting. And that can freak a girl out. Um, it, you, you just gotta put yourself in that person's position. And if this was someone saying to you that they saw a future with you and you don't have any interest in this person whatsoever and you, you don't like them in that way, it, you would want to block them as well. You wouldn't want to talk to them again as well. It's just a strange behavior. If you, you shouldn't be talking about your future with a girl if you're not already in a committed relationship, you should talk about your future with a girl that you're in a relationship with, that you're married to, that you've been dating for a long time and you're exclusive together. Not someone that you haven't dated, not someone that you're not in a relationship with. Now, when you're, in a, when you're an actual couple and you're exclusive, then you two can talk to, to each other about what you're gonna be doing in the future together. You know, then you can be talking about, you know, getting married and having kids and doing all this and, you know, having a future together. But it's not something that you should be discussing with a girl that you're not with, that you're not in a relationship with. That kind of thing happens over time when you're in a relationship, not before. Doing it before is too premature. Basically, the more you talk to a girl about having a relationship with her when you're not in a relationship yet, 
lowers your chances of ever being in a relationship with her because you're coming on too strong too soon and she doesn't feel that way about you yet. And if you come on too strong too soon, it makes her feel uneasy. It makes her feel like she can't trust you. When you're dating a girl, you need to make her feel safe and comfortable. So that means not bringing up the topic of relationships, not being too pushy about pushing a relationship, not talking about your future together. Your main goal when you're dating someone is just to go out on dates with her and get to know her and see how things go, nothing else. I said I still see a future with her but for now I'm going to do my thing and she does hers and I wished her the best and then she blocked me. So yeah, she blocked you because you mentioned a future with her and she probably felt like she was never going to escape you, maybe. I'm not saying this is definite but this is just what I'm uh, guessing from this, okay? I really don't understand why she blocked after I said I still, I still saw a future with her. That's the reason she blocked you, um, because and you said that you respected her choice. It doesn't matter, you are not respecting her choice to not be with you if you say to her, I still see a future with you. That's not respecting her choice because if she says to you, look, I'm not interested in you and you say, I, I respect your choice but I still see a future with you, you are not respecting her choice um, because if her choice was to not be with you and not want to date you, that was her choice full stop. But if you say, but I still see a future with you, that's not respecting your choice. That's, mm, okay, you'll come around at some point. Doesn't work. That's why she blocked you. Then she went on to say she wanted nothing to do with me. Yeah, the reason why she doesn't want anything to do with you is because you didn't respect her choice and you went on to say that you saw a future with her and you wanted to, and, ba and basically that implied that there was gonna be a future. And when she clearly was trying to express to you that she wasn't interested. When a girl's not interested, you walk away. You don't, you know, you do respect, you respect her choice and you walk away. That's it. If she still has interest in you, she will come back eventually. But when someone says to you that they're not interested, you walk away. If she likes you, she will come back. If she liked you, she will come back. So you don't need to worry about whether or not she's gonna come back or not when you walk away. Because if you walk away, what is it? there's either gonna be two things that happen. Either she's gonna come back and you two are gonna start dating and then you'll have a relationship, or you'll find someone better. That's the attitude you must have when someone says to you, I'm not interested. You're like, okay, walk on, let go of it. They'll come back if they want to, or you'll find someone better. That is it. Now obviously I don't know the full story about this, so if you personally, the person who wrote that comment, um, if you would like more help with this kind of situation and more help, um, then please email me using the email address provided in this video's description box. Um, if anyone would like coaching with me, then please go to www.christineloverage.com shop. You can purchase coaching from there. Uh, I hope this video has helped you. Please like, please subscribe, and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye guys.